Let's talk a little bit about Lights Out Extreme Fighting, another one of Sean Merriman's great ventures here. Uh, we mentioned a little bit, we talked uh, uh, about what the concept is here, debut event. Uh, May 11th, it sold out. Second event coming up on July 6th, so right at the yeah. end of a nice holiday weekend here, Burbank, uh, Burbank Marriott, event center here in Los Angeles. Tell us a little bit about what you got going on. Yeah, so it's our second one out, Lights Out Extreme Fighting uh, here, right here at Burbank uh, Marriott Events, and you can get your tickets at lightsoutxf.com. Uh, you know, th the whole thing is I've been around this sport for 14 years, right? I mean, I was training during my off-seasons. I was started training with Jay Glazer in between 2005 and 2006. Randy Gator and, and um, you know, just some of the – best fighters out there and I wanted to really just work on my hand-eye coordination my leverage and just help me doing the football well I ended up kind of falling in love with the sport uh when I retired um you know I knew that I was going to be in the sport I didn't know how I actually thought I was going to be fighting you know I had a couple opportunities um but the the right opportunity didn't come about I'm shocked by the way that you never did well I I, I would have bet good money it was this close uh well two two times it was this close to me fighting with Bellator um, they never officially came to me with the contract that was that I like, and then it was the bare knuckle, which that promotion ended up crumbling. But the whole time that you know, I knew that this lights out, uh, lights out extreme fighting was going to be launched. Um, the thing is, with us, we have athletes transitioning from other sports. Right. You know, Chris McCain, we just talked yep. about from a charge in Miami Dolphin. I think he played with the Saints and college for a little bit too. Uh, Royce White uh, played mm -hmm. in the NBA, uh, playing with the Big Three right now. He's another guy that uh, could eventually come over. He, we, we talked the other day. I we meet with him next week when he's done with the big three. Uh, so you know, we'll have, you know, we got a couple of NHL guys. So, uh, yeah, well, those guys, oh, they can yeah, scrap. That's, that's where they the, that's where the smart money is being bet. Right. Brockman, you put them on the NHL guys, but how, how trained are these guys? I mean, are they literally walking off a football field or, or get taking their skates off and, and jumping into the ring or, or are some of these guys trained? A little well, bit? do they you know, know what some, they're getting into? Yeah. Some of these guys are walking in their raw athletes, just like I was, right? right? You don't, you're not walking in with two, two left right. feet and you can't, you don't have any coordination. So they're athletes walking in. Now they're picking up on it, getting in training camps, you know, wherever they are in the country. Uh, Chris McCain's down here with uh, Antonio McKee down South. Uh, Royce White's the same. He's down South in Irvine. So when these guys come in, you get with the right trainer and you take that sheer athleticism they have from this sport and transfer it over to, now learning the technical side of combat sports in MMA, you can be dangerous. So real quick, which which former teammate would you want to get into the ring with? Former teammate? Yeah. None. Uh, none really. I, none of my team. Cause we we were all boys, man. We mm -hmm. had you know we had a uh, we had a great gr group of guys. Okay, we'll expand it. Which which NFL player that you that you played against that you competed against would you want to get into the ring with? Oh. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking now. I, I don't. I never had really enemies. What I did through those four quarters was strictly business. <laughs> you know? So if I had to go out and do whatever, it was it was all business. I, I don't. I don't think I came across a guy who I just didn't like. Mm. Um, they may. They might have been a character of somebody I didn't like during the game, but I got to know them off the field, and I never never had that kind of problem. I thought maybe you'd go with the Titans. Yeah, maybe one of those Jeff Fisher coaches yeah, yeah, kind of well, guys. We know what that means to you yeah, in your career. Yeah, exactly. But even with those guys, uh, you know, we we actually talked. I've had talks with uh, not with Jeff Fisher, but with the the center Kevin Mawai. Right. You know, we we uh, and something coming out pretty soon. I think here in Sports Illustrated about that whole thing. Uh, there really wasn't out there. I don't think people knew. About the idea that there was a bounty on you yeah. in a football game, yeah. Yeah. And whether there's a bounty or not, it means something bad happened and it, it my career changed because of it. Hmm. So uh, I got a chance to kind of square it off and shake hands with Kevin Mawai, and it's a pretty good article. For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.